five, four, three. What rocket is best is an argument had daily on spaceflight forums around the internet. Nobody though can deny that the Saturn V and Falcon Heavy are the biggest, heaviest, and most powerful American launch vehicles ever produced. They each have unique capabilities the other doesn't, and both have the ability to send an insane amount of cargo to space. The Falcon Heavy and the Saturn V are two rockets that nearly every person in the world would recognize. But what is their story? Hi everyone, TJ here for I Need More Space. In each episode of this series, I'm going to take two components of spaceflight and compare them to one another. Hopefully we both learn how they came to be and get a better understanding of the story of space's past and future. And this episode is sponsored by me, I need more dot space slash shop. If you want to help support me doing more of this type of storytelling, just pick up a shirt. It would really mean a lot. And I do try really hard to make shirt designs that I think people would like to wear around. So if you want to support more episodes like this, please consider buying a shirt from I need more dot space slash shop. Back to the episode. Today on Head to Head, we're pitting the iconic Saturn V against the Falcon Heavy in a matchup we're just going to call Best Booster. We're going to pair them based on five criteria. Payload, total cost, operational record, cultural impact, and how they were made. I know the comment section is going to ask about Starship, New Glenn, and Vulcan, but guess what? They haven't flown anything to space yet, so they don't count. Anyways, let's just jump in. Payload. If you're going to judge a launch vehicle on one thing, it should probably be payload. If our goal is to safely fling heavy pieces of machinery and our human beings into orbit, we need to consider our rocket's payload rating. And on that question, we have a clear winner. While the Falcon Heavy can hoist an impressive 140,700 pounds into low Earth orbit, it's no match for the colossal power of the Saturn V which is rated to launch a whopping 310,000 pounds of payload into the same low Earth orbit. So that's it, right? The Saturn V can lift more than twice as much payload as the Falcon Heavy. And the comparison, right? Well, maybe not. Because spaceflight isn't free, the pendulum is going to swing back toward the Falcon Heavy once we consider the total cost. The first versions of the Saturn rocket family were designed way back in 1960. And since nothing like it had ever been built, its designers had to solve a lot of problems for the first time. Saturn V engineers had to solve everything from insulating thousands of gallons of liquid hydrogen to the warping of booster tank frames during construction. So building these rockets was very, very expensive. By NASA's own estimates, the Saturn V program cost about 42 billion in today's dollars, and each individual launch cost 1.23 billion, with about 60% of that price tag being the Saturn V itself by contrast, the newer Falcon Heavy was designed with the benefit of more than 40 years of hard-earned experience and data. SpaceX relies on private funding, so we don't have the same kind of data we have for the taxpayer-funded Saturn V, but reports suggest that Falcon Heavy's development costs were less than a billion dollars, and Falcon Heavy's per-launch cost starts at a mere 90 million dollars. That's less than a tenth of the per-launch cost of the Saturn V. And none of this even starts to account for the fact that the Falcon Heavy's boosters can be recovered and reused, while the one and done Saturn V can't. This one's not even close. Standing on the shoulders of the Saturn V's program's engineers, the Falcon Heavy is definitely cheaper to develop and operate than the Saturn V. Operational record. So this is where the comparison gets tricky. There were only 13 Saturn V launches, and 12 of them were total successes, no Saturn V ever had a loss of payload or life, and over the course of its lifespan, the Saturn V successfully sent two dozen human beings to the moon. That kind of service record is going to be tough to beat. By contrast, the Falcon Heavy has three successful launches under its belt, but the comparison isn't really fair. The Saturn program was designed for crewed spaceflight, while the Falcon Heavy has been used almost exclusively to launch communication satellites. That's still no easy task, but spaceflight gets a lot less complex when you don't have to worry about life support systems. Falcon Heavy's lone non-satellite launch was its maiden voyage, which put Elon Musk's personal Tesla Roadster on a course for Mars. Now that's undeniably cool photo op, but a posed mannequin is not the same thing as letting fleshed and blood Buzz Aldrin walk on the moon's surface. 
While both Saturn V and Falcon Heavy boast some impressive operational records, only one of those operational records included life or death stakes of putting humans into space and returning them safely to Earth. Cultural Impact We can compare engineering specs until we're blue in the face, but ultimately numbers alone won't capture why these rockets captivate us. We know how these modern marvels of science perform in space, but how do they live in our imaginations? Well, on one hand, we've got the freaking moon landing. Saturn V fans can rightly ask when the last time that Tom Hanks, Kevin Bacon, and Ed Harris immortalized the Falcon Heavy in a movie. But on the other hand, did you see the video of SpaceX successfully recovering the Falcon Heavy boosters? I have to plead the fifth here. I grew up in a world where the moon landing had already happened. It always seemed like something that was already in the history books, you know? But watching Falcon Heavy's boosters falling to Earth at terminal velocity, then executing a perfectly timed series of burns in order to land standing upright? I don't know, I just don't really have the words to describe that. Especially when that human being is talking from the surface that is not a place that is on this planet. There's one final thing we need to look at, and that's the how of these launch vehicles. How they were made. During World War II, some of our planet's best rocket scientists were fighting for the bad guys. When the war ended in 1945, the United States and the Soviet Union raced to grab as many Nazi rocket scientists as possible and put them to work on the quickly arriving Cold War. All told, the United States ended up expatriating 1,600 German scientists, including Werner von Braun, who led the Nazi rocket program and went on to become the chief architect of the Saturn V. Now, by contrast, the Falcon Heavy was developed with the engineering assistance of precisely zero Nazis. Well, as far as we know, anyways. There are other big differences here, too. Von Braun's work on the Saturn V was the result of massive government-sponsored programs, spanning decades in both the United States and Germany. He worked in concert with both academia and the private sector, too, with each of the Saturn V stages being farmed out to different companies. The public-private partnership helped NASA recover from the embarrassment of Sputnik and win the race to the moon. On the other hand, Elon Musk's SpaceX is a single company run on private money. It's not in the business of proving that we can go to the moon, it is in the business of being a business. SpaceX wants to turn a profit in a way that NASA never did, and SpaceX designed its rockets differently than NASA because SpaceX's rockets are not intended to perform the same mission as NASA rockets. On this one, I'm torn. It's a little apples to oranges, but Falcon Heavy is smaller, cheaper, and the no Nazi thing has to count for something. So there you have it. Which booster would you prefer to fly with today? Let me know in the poll above. Over the near term, we're going to see a lot more Falcon Heavy launches than Saturn V launches. Sadly, the infrastructure for the Saturn V is long gone and in the history books, but the Saturn V is still the gold standard in human-rated, super heavy lift launches. And if Elon Musk wants to send more than a mannequin to Mars, Falcon Heavy has got a long way to go before it catches up with the old Saturn V. If you have your own opinions on how the Saturn V and Falcon Heavy stack up, I hope you'll drop them in the comment section below. For more videos about all the cool stuff that people do in space, please subscribe to my channel and come please find me on my social media. I'm at TJ underscore Cooney on Twitter. I post daily videos and photos about space flight and just things I find neat. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon. All right, bye.